Hello and welcome to government class. In today's government class, we'll be looking at the the we'll be looking at indirect truth in the West and the reasons for the partial success of indirect truth in the West. The West was the West that is the West by the West I mean the Yoruba part of Nigeria was on the middle ground. The indirect truth was partially successful due to the check and balance system in the incorporated in the Yoruba political system. The Yoruba of Obas and Alafins were not absolute like the Emirs and the North. They were accountable to the people. However, one thing in favor of indirect rule present in the Yoruba administration was the payment of tax. The Yoruba people were already used to paying taxes, unlike in the East, where the people were not used to paying taxes. The next thing we'll be looking at is the reasons for the partial success of indirect truth in the West. By the West, I mean the Yoruba parts of Nigeria. The reason, the first reason for the partial success of indirect truth in the West is the fact that success, the partial success and partial failure of indirect truth in the West is the fact that our Obas and Alafins, they did not, they lacked Western education. They did Western education. They did not understand the English language. And the British used this to their advantage by making the Obas sign treaties and by signing treaties and agreements with the Obas and Alafins in a language they did not understand. These people could practically sell the all of their land and the people to the British because they, they had to sign documents agreements and treaties they did not understand so that was one of the reasons that led to the partial success of indirect rule in the west the yoruba parts of nigeria because our uh, obas lacked western education and they did not understand the english language the british used that to their advantage the second reason for the partial success or partial success and partial failure of indirect rule in the west which is the your um the yoruba side of nigeria is because we had educated elites such as um, Abat Macaulay, who opposed and fought for nationalism, who opposed the system of indirect rule and fought for nationalism. We had many educa um, educated elites, such as Abat Macaulay and many more, who opposed indirect rule and fought for nationalism. So indirect rule could not thrive very well in the Yoruba parts of Nigeria. Also, education, I, I, like, like I said earlier, most of the Yoruba people were educated and they, they, they were, in the, 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 um, most of the Yoruba people were educated and that put them in a position to question indirect truth. So, because they knew their rights, they knew that people from another country cannot just come to our land and come and be imposing what is not on, on us. They knew that it was wrong so they could fight for it because they knew their rights. So education was one of the major reasons that led to the partial failure of indirect truth in the West because the people knew their rights, they knew they knew their rights, and that put them in a question in a position to question indirect truth. The system, the system was boycotted by educated elites because they were not allowed to participate in the administration. The fact that they did not allow the educated elites to participate in the administration of indirect truth, it made indirect truth a partial failure in the West, in the Yoruba part of Nigeria, because most of the people in the Yoruba part of because most of the people in the Yoruba part of Nigeria were educated, and the fact that you were not allowing these educated people to participate in the administration, it made them angry. It made the educated people angry, and they saw that they saw that they were not valued in the administration. So this was one of the major reasons that led to the fight for nationalism. The next is the the system of indirect truth restored restored authority to the Alafi of Oyo instead of the or uh, instead of the Oni of Ife. Because the um the people of the people of the Yoruba land then they believed that Ile Ife was the ancestral um, and they saw the Oni as their head. So the, um, when Indirect rule came to the West, the Yoruba parts of Nigeria. The the um the Lord Lugard, Lord Lugard tried to restore author the authority of the Yoruba land to the Alafi of Oyo instead of the Onyo of Ife. So the um the people of the Yoruba land um they 
they rebelled against this decision. So it was one of the major reasons that led to the failure of indirect rule in the West because the Alafi of the because Lord Lugard tried to restore authority of the Yoruba land to the Alafi of Oyo instead of the Onu of Ife, it led to the failure of indirect rule because the people already saw Ilefe as their ancestral home and the Onu as their head. The next reason for the partial success of the partial success and partial failure of indirect rule in the West is because of the limited powers of the Oba and the Alafians. Unlike the, unlike the North, where the Emirs had unlimited power, the Emir had total power. Power was centralized in the Emir. The Emir was autocratic. The Emir could do and undo. He could take advice or ignore the advice of his officials. In the western part of Nigeria, the Obas and the Alafins, they could not do the same because they, their power was not centralized in the Obas. There was a system of check and balance in place whereby the Oyomisi could check the power of the Oba. In fact, the Oyomisi could depose the Oba. They could, once they send an empty calabash to the Oba, it means that the Oba has to vacate the throne and or, or and commit suicide so because the urban knew that power was not only in his person power was shared between various institutions indirect rule could not thrive in the west because the urban did not command total respect like the emirs in the northern nigeria before the urban could take a decision because before the urban could make a policy he had to involve the oyo messi they had to talk together it was something that they reached as an agreement that, that had to be reached, um, that had to be discussed by the Obas and the by the Alafi and the Oyomisi before an agreement is reached. Policies were not just taken by the Oba. The Oba discussed with the Oyomisi before they could reach an agreement and come about a policy. So indirect rule could not thrive in in the West. Also, the religion, Christianity was. Christianity was one of the major religions in the West as at that time. And Christianity is not as conservative and submissive as Islam. So indirect rule could not thrive in the West. And with this, we've come to the end of the class. In the next class, we'll be looking at indirect rule in Eastern Nigeria and the reasons for the total failure of indirect rule in Eastern Nigeria. Mm -hmm.